In this video, we are going to make our strongest cosmic team in anime champions. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video for free bow bucks. Hey yo, what up? F mine is gang gang. Welcome back to anime champions simulator. Y'all check this out. I am currently in dungeon. And let me tell you, just like anime fighters, these new dungeon floors are extremely difficult. You guys can take a look at this red force over here. Look at the HP on this guy. I can't even read out this number. It's actually insane. And I was thinking, you know what? In anime fighters, we have already maxed out. I got max level units and I'm about to get the heavenly. I mean, we don't really, you know, we did everything already for the update and we don't really have anything else to do. Why don't we hop back on anime champions and try to max out yeah, my boy. team for the video? You guys know my strongest uni here. I have Kirito, 1.31Q. He's just a placeholder. He's not supposed to be the strongest. He's only there, you know, just so I have a max level unit. So I was able to get to the last map in the game. And now that we've hit the last map of the game, the Eclipse, well, why don't we try our hand in trying to max level the rest of our fighters, trying to get the best quirks, trying to get that Harmony 3, Harmony 4 bonus, you know, slapping on maybe a damage boost, and then coming back to Dungeon, seeing if I can kill all of these enemies. And this video is going to be perfect for you guys who haven't returned to Anime Champions, don't know exactly what to do. Well, F minus is gonna max level his units and you guys would do the same thing. Nice. So if you don't know already, I made like two videos before this. If you guys are coming back to Anime Champions, the first thing you do, of course, redeem all the codes. Once you redeem all the codes, you should take one of your units and use the max leveling glitch. In my case, I did Kirito. If you don't know how to do it, I have a bunch of videos on it or just search in the Anime Champions bar or just watch any of my previous videos. Kirito's level 210, so it's perfect for us. He got us to the last map. It only took like 15, 20 minutes, and I was stuck for the longest time on Virtual Palace. So we clapped out Portal City, Arcane Kingdom, Punch City, Universe Tourney, and the Eclipse. And now we have all this time. What else do we do? And that's why I said we're gonna try to reroll, you know, some better quirks. We'll max level the rest of our units, try to get Harmony 4 bonus. And I did take a look at the index over here. I mean, we have some Cosmics from the newer maps. However, it's not that bad using Cosmics from older maps. You guys have Shanks. I mean, look at the Wizard King, right? He has 707 damage per second. However, Shanks has 310. So Shanks, I mean, he's doing half the damage, but he's double ascended if you guys still have your old double ascended units. My Whitebeard, he's already double ascended. I don't have to farm for more. And I still have like my other characters as well. I mean, I have Crimson Rose stat copying units. Maybe we don't need to get Harmony 4. We're going to try to achieve our highest damage per second. Try to max level our units. So let's go to the Eclipse right now and let's try to make it happen. So I guess the units we're going to focus on is Whitebeard. He's from Galaxy 2. I mean, he already has Titan and he has Black Hole. My Kirito is not bad either. I mean, he's level 210. I could replace him. Archmage and Giants. Not really a good combination. So let me go ahead and unequip his Ancient Magus Wings of Care. Don't really need it, I guess. My main carry unit, you could say it could be Whitebeard. I mean, Black Hole and Titan is pretty crazy. He's not max level, but if I slap on like two Cosmic Knowledge skins, I should be able to level him up pretty fast, as well as, you know, put on like a holiday EXP boost. And maybe, hopefully, it takes like five minutes to level him up. So I have a bunch of like non ascended units. I have the guy from, I guess, like solo leveling. I could try to double ascend, maybe. I don't know. Let me go ahead and take a look at it. So the player, I can't really do it. Uh, Hammer Bunny. What does she do? Is Hammer Bunny decent? I could try to double ascend her. So the Easter event, Hammer Bunny does 676, and she has a little blue star right there. So maybe that's gonna be good with Whitebeard. Whitebeard's a red star. And how many Hammer Bunnies do I have? 
right because this is what i guess you guys would also want to do if you want to get that harmony bonus that was the meta before everybody quit the game and i have so many hammer bunnies so why don't we try to make her triple ascended or double ascended whatever you have to do in order to get double quirks and double skins we're gonna go to the machines here let's go see if we can select one of these hammer bunnies not really sure which one probably this one uh let's see if we can okay so we need a bunch of cosmic essence which is okay for us because I have a bunch of Cosmics in my inventory. No, I really have a ton of old ones especially. So I guess we can take like our old Sages that we do not need. Look at all these. Damn, we have a bunch. If we just deconstruct... Actually, we can do it faster. They added some shortcuts in the game now where you guys can just deconstruct. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and unlock a bunch of them. So we got like Old Sage here. This is Old Sage. And you know what? better yet let's go save some of these some of these i might need like this one has black hole already what if i try to you know double ascend this guy yeah his base damage might be a lot weaker or his uh, average dps but that harmony bonus is really what we're trying to go for plus he already has black hole not the best but as a returning player it's good enough for now and that's exactly what we're trying to go for what about this guy john ken freaks so they renamed him we already have our adult gone. He already has a cosmic skin. This guy is crazy. But the rest of these adult gones, I don't need them. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and unlock all of these adult gones that we do not need. I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct them. So we got like, what, 30 essence right there? It's not much, but you know what? We're going to go ahead and make it work. And then we're going to go ahead and deconstruct a bunch of uh, other, like, you know, units we don't need, like Captain here. The only one I need is my double ascended Levi. This one right here. So we're going to get rid of the rest of them. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, right? Nine, that's 45 essence. Let's go ahead and deconstruct that. And then I'm sure there's something else I could do. Apex Fury, you guys already know. Let's go ahead and unlock this, 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 uh, this one. I think those are good. And then let's just go ahead and deconstruct one, two, three right there. All right, not too bad, not too bad. And then what else can we deconstruct with? Yeah, I have two additional ones we don't need. So let's go ahead and deconstruct those two, starting with that, plus that. And there, I think we now are able to double ascend our Hammer Bunny. This is going to be my new strongest unit after Kirito. Kirito, still not sure if I'm going to use him on my team, but, you know, we're going to work with it. And then after that, we have to select one sacrifice, right? If I remember, this is the first ascension. This is the double ascension. And I think there was like a triple ascension. I have no clue. I don't really remember. So let's try and convert that. Yeah, there's a triple ascension. Cool. So I need 10 more essence. So 10 more. I mean, I have a bunch of hammer bunnies. Why not just deconstruct them? So I'll take like, what, three, four hammer bunnies there. Deconstruct those. Perfect. And then after that, we go back to the machine. We take our ascended units. Hopefully I didn't accidentally <laughs> end up um deconstructing our ascending unit because that would really really suck and you know what did we deconstruct our ascending unit did we just do that hopefully i didn't do that but i'm looking at it Ooh, okay here it is so we take three sacrifices one two and three we have enough ascension cards we have enough cosmic essence there you guys go we've made hammer bunny triple ascended or whatever it's called double ascend i don't really care and all we gotta do now is take our hammer bunny here do we have her locked perfect so this is gonna be a permanent part of my team now maybe i can try to change your talent and stuff i don't even know if i have talent tokens we have to try to farm for that definitely need to farm for talent tokens we got premium medals we got movement tokens um taking a look at my inventory do we have talent tokens we do not have talent tokens though i hate farming those you have 29 so, I mean, I can try to reroll, try to get something good on our bunny, but I don't know. It's going to be kind of tough. 98, 59, it's kind of bad. Let's see, we got 135, 141. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Nice. What else can we get? 93, 47, okay. 42, 22. We should have enough for maybe a couple more rerolls. 25 and 8. Come on, big money. Let me get some good speed. I need that good attack speed. Ability damage. I might only have like one or two rerolls. Look at that. Six. Bruh. How unlucky is that to get six? That is horribly unlucky. That's okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take 
I don't know. We need some like EXP boost. We got to max level our units now, right? So let's go take holiday EXP. It's going to be better. 2.5x for 60 minutes. Nice. And we take some skins. We really got to take some skins. You know, unequip some of these. Some of these I'm not even using anymore. I'm probably, I'm not planning to use like, you know, a full team of harmony bonuses and stuff. I'll use some stack copying units. We'll see what works better. I need to take... Something gives me knowledge here. Yeah, this one. Wings of Care of Knowledge. That should help us out a lot. We'll put that for slot one. And then I guess... You know what? How do we re-roll Hammer Bunny in the first place? How do we re-roll her? So we have to use these... Oh my god, I have so many execution medals. That's crazy. I had 20,000 execution medals. Okay, so we go to the forge. Skin reforge. We'll take... I don't know. What should we take? Should we take... I don't know if it'd be worth it. I don't know if we... Yeah, I think we could do the leveling glitch. We could do the leveling glitch right now. Cool. So we'll take, I guess... We should have one of these claws that give us EXP. We're going to equip it on Hammer Bunny. And then we'll take our Hammer Bunny. We'll get like Genius 2, Genius 3. Or if it ends up landing on something amazing, then we'll take that instead. And also to speed up the process for you guys, I guess... We can go ahead and purchase this Faster Crooks Game Pass. I think I need about 30,000 gems. So I need about... Hmm, taking a look at it. 500 Robux. Or I can buy this straight up for about 700 Robux. I guess we should probably purchase about 500 Robux. And that should hopefully take us to where we need to be. I think think if the math is right it's gonna be a little expensive but hey that's why we do the videos guys so let me go ahead and try to purchase this right here 60,000 gems do we really want to do that and i don't even know if we have enough nah looking at it it's gonna cost more than that that is so expensive this is gonna be like 10 dollars for faster quirks triple your quirk reroll speed stacks with a multi-quirk game pass all right you know what for right now we're gonna skip that <laughs> that's actually really expensive um they should probably make that a little bit cheaper triple reroll should be more expensive than that we're just gonna go for sniper then genius three genius two blessed crimson demon uh we'll go for boxer titan assassin celestial anything that gives us damage archmage i'll take it giant not the best but i'll take it even if it's not that good and we're just gonna go ahead and reroll let's see if we get anything good Okay, so perfect. We got Genius 3, Genius 2. Now we could do the leveling glitch on our bunny and instantly max level her. I don't even have to go to the newest map. I can just go to Green Planet just to show you guys how it works if you don't know how it works. But basically, we go to the Dragon Orb here and then we take our Hammer Bunny. She's level 120 right now. You see that? We're going to select her. And then all we have to do is just fuse once. Just one egg. That's all it takes. So I guess we can just open once and then she should be level 210. You guys can see her right there. She is level 210. That's how the leveling glitch works. Pretty OP, um, but you definitely need to have like 30%, 20% EXP bonus, Genius 3, Genius 2. So you already have a unit that has like really good quirks. You have to reroll off of it. So you have to, you know, figure out yourself if it's worth it. For me, it's worth it because I can get unlimited rerolls. But for you guys, I'm not sure if you can. Let's go back to the quirks over here. And then, I mean, we can reroll her, at, but I do want to test out, you know, leveling out Whitebeard. Whitebeard is my next priority. Because I want to try to level him up, you know, try to get that harmony bonus. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. So we're going to equip this on Whitebeard. And there should be like EXP knowledge up 20%. We'll equip that on Whitebeard as well. Then we're going to go to Galaxy 2. We go to the Eclipse. I'm not going to do the leveling glitch on Whitebeard because I would have to switch off of my Titan and Black Hole. It's not the best combination, but it's it's not bad. And then I'm going to go to the Crimson Egg Orb here. I guess we can go ahead and start auto-fusing on Whitebeard. Let's go and select him. We close that. And then we just go ahead and auto open. You guys can see his level in real time. It might be a little hard to see, but he's currently 198. Every time I open up, mm, looks like... Okay, he's 199. If I can get him to like 200-ish, be a little bit better. He's currently 199 right now. Let's go ahead and keep on checking it.
man, anime fighter is a lot easier. You put them in the incubator, you wait five seconds and they max level. There we go, 204. Can we get 205, 205, big money right here. Can we get 205? I think we have enough money. We should not run out. I'm looking at it. Yeah, we should have infinite money. He's currently 204. Can we please hit 205? If we hit 205, I'm just gonna AFK until he hits 210. And like I said, it should take 20, maybe 30 minutes. If we're lucky, if I miscalculate, it could take longer, like an hour. There it is, 205. That's exactly where we want Whitebeard. So he might actually be my strongest unit, even stronger than the Bunny Girl, stronger than Kirito. We'll see if I can purchase that instant reroll game pass. That would really help us out a lot to get these passives a lot faster. And we would be able to max out our Hammer Bunny because she I have like 20,000 medals. If I can switch off Genius 3 and Genius 2 to make her even stronger, we'll be able to come back a lot faster. And my team setup would be Hammer Bunny. Um, I guess it would be White Mustache here. Maybe like two to four stack copying units. And then I'll try to get another like Harmony bonus, like a Red Star. And then I'll get maybe like a Blue Star somewhere. Okay, let's go ahead and show you guys my progress so far. I think I've already max leveled three of our units. Hammer Bunny's maxed out, Whitebeard is maxed out, and I think Makima should almost be maxed out. You can see my mouse cursor right there. Currently, I'm asking my friends how you guys are supposed to get those Easter eggs and stuff. Not really sure yet. They said the event left, but the codes are still there. Okay, so you do the codes, and it says daily Easter eggs in Champion City. Those are the only ways to get Easter eggs besides buying them. I could buy some. Actually, I might end up buying some. That way, I can at least get Do Flamingo. I don't know if it's worth it, though. So I got to definitely double check it. And then we can also get one of these packs here. Mystery Wings or Easter Bunny Astral Pack. I might wait until the next video for that. But the one I'm probably going to purchase is this one right here. 1,500 Robux. But we're able to get those limited boost. 400,000 eggs so we can get Do Flamingo. Plus we get an Astral Skin for Easter Bunny. It says Mystery Wings but I, already <laughs> I have so many wings. And plus Easter is going to be a limited time one. What we're going to do though is continue to max level our makima when she's max level we would have assembled i think almost our team it's gonna be makima one white mustache two hammer bunny three and then maybe kirito four because he's a red star although his passives are giants archmage it's not the best i have better passives but i can always farm some uh tokens so those reroll tokens it's not a big deal or i can use levi Levi's not bad either. Um, his damage is probably going to be a lot higher because he has Black Hole and he has Titan. But at least for this video, I mean, we could work with this. Crimson Demon on our Makima. She's not the best, but I mean, Crimson Demon ain't bad, y'all. Archmage over there. And then leveling her. I guess it's been taking about 20 minutes to max level unit, so not bad at all. But I think we have our game plan set up, like I said. It's going to be Hammer Bunny, Makima right so we have two blues right here you see my mouse cursor that right there that's going to give us the harmony bonus white beard and then kirito that's going to be the other two that are max level so we have four max level units we can equip a total of eight units i don't know if there's like an upgrades here that gives us extra extra equip i haven't really done uh these dungeons too much i did floor seven earlier in the video but it was really tough to do and then the other four units i have We'll just use like stack copying units. Maybe I'll buy like a Doflamingo or something like that. Maybe I'll use like... I mean Doflamingo's an astral, right? But we can also use... I think I have like some cosmic skins. I have like a Toji here somewhere in my inventory. I don't know if I still have him. I can double check. T-O... Uh, taking a look at it. <laughs> I don't know the name of him, but I got like a Toji right here. A Sorcerer Slayer. He copies 100% of the damage. So I feel like he would be like number 5... And maybe I have like some other skins here. I don't know if I do, probably. And that can copy out the, um, I guess the damage per second on our units. And I feel like that would be pretty good. Because you don't have to have, unless the meta has changed, a full team of max level um, cosmics and stuff. But yeah, Makima is now level 210. Perfect for us. I don't think we have to do anything else. I'm going to unequip everything. We'll take our Makima there. Not bad. We'll also take... Hmm, Whitebeard, he's already max level, perfect. That's two. Kirito, he could use some work, but for right now, he'd be a good placeholder. He ain't bad either. 
that's gonna be three and then hammer bunny that was gonna be number four so we'll take our hammer bunny let's go sort our units by damage dang i don't know why the game does that it puts like the, the uh stack copying units first they still haven't fixed that glitch which is crazy uh hopefully they end up fixing it pretty soon though so we'll take hammer as our other one we'll just type it in here h-a-m-m-e-r perfect this is our other unit now we have to roll off of genius 3 and genius 2 not sure if i'll do it for this video i am getting kind of lazy right now but i mean for right now this is a pretty good setup we are getting a harmony bonus we better be getting a damn harmony bonus uh right now we got one two three and then we have our hammer bunny as four you cannot equip a transfer champion okay that's no trouble right there we are now getting a harmony four bonus we better be getting <laughs> There's so many goddamn bugs in this game still. We're going to equip Hammer Bunny again because it didn't work earlier. Now we have four. Harmony 2 bonus is going to give us, I guess, 45% damage. Maybe we should go for Harmony 3. Damn, 75%. And then Harmony um, 4, it's going to give us even more damage. But yeah, 210, 210, 210. We have made our team. This is just a placeholder team. It's not going to be the best right now. We also have Sorcerer Slayer there. We can go ahead and equip him. Maybe we could also get Crimson Rose. One, two, three Crimson Roses. And that should give us eight out of eight equips. It should be okay, I think. Uh, we're not using a damage boost. I can use a regular damage boost, I guess. And then we could go ahead and do like, you know, the star challenge. Um, and then see how strong we are. So I guess we'll go back to, let's say, Champion City. I might reroll a couple more quirks. Like I said, you know, we we definitely don't want to leave Bunny Girl. We just genius. That's and then also we have to re-equip all of our skins. So we have Ancient Magnus on Whitebeard. Guess we can go ahead and put that on him. Ancient Magnus wins right here. We'll throw it on Whitebeard. Ancient Magnus gives me the best burst damage. That's why I use Ancient Magnus. And then we also have and another thing about using stack communes. I don't have to put skins on them. Hammer Bunny, not sure what I'm gonna put on her yet. Makima, definitely gonna put some Magus skins on her. Uh, because Makima is the best. I guess we'll put that on her. And then we should have another ancient Magnus that I could throw on our Makima. Yes, we do. Perfect. So that's what? Uh we have Whitebeard finished. We have Makima finished. 1.47 Q. 2.86q whitebeard is doing 2.86 not bad i'm sure this is low but we don't have like any runes uh kirito we're still working on him hammer bunny i mean we can take a look at it kirito we can put uh the wings the ancient wings of magnus and then we also have pirate cape of the gods hmm i don't know should we throw that on him pirate cape of the gods we also have an easter basket here that's kind of cool i guess we have an Ancient Magus Carrot Slicer. Why not put that on Kirito? He uses a sword. Well, he's going to use a carrot now. So he's doing 1.31Q. And then my final unit is going to be... Uh, what is it? Hammer Bunny. I'm not sure what kind of skins to put on Hammer Bunny, but... I would assume maybe God Skins. So Hammer Bunny, first slot, God Skin. Second slot on our Hammer Bunny, God Skin. And then now we've finished up equipping skins to our units. She's doing 108 trillion. We still got to put like some damage uh, quirk on her. So we're going to go ahead and take off Genius 3. We'll replace it with pretty much anything. I'm open to anything. Like I said, I'll, t I'll tell you whatever. As long as it gives me good damage. Even Giants. Giants, I don't know if that's good. And then we're going to go ahead and reroll. Um, if, I don't know, it's really expensive. Expensive, 50,000 gems. Maybe I could do some quests in the game or something like that because I have 20,000 gems. We'll see what happens if I can get that instant reroll game pass. Because think about it like this. I can either buy that instant reroll game pass, right? Just like anime fighters. Or F- can use that money to purchase one of these Easter Bunny Astral Packs. That way I can get my Doflamingo Astral. I can get these 400,000 eggs. Not really sure yet. All I'm going to do, like I said, we're just going to reroll Hammer Bunny. Let's try to get some really good damaging passives. All right. I mean, this is okay. We got Sniper and Giants. Not the best combination. I think it's only giving us about 500 trillion. But for this video, I think it's all right. 
The only thing we're gonna do now is go to the Star Devourer challenge and we're gonna test it out, see if our damage is good. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not good. Maybe I can also turn down these goddamn grounds because <laughs> it's really, really laggy. Disable coin pop ups, disable quirk uh, VFX. There we go. Now we're zooming. So the Star Devourer challenge. I mean, we got two attempts. Uh, I can turn on auto attack and then we can just go ahead and start it. We're already using a damage potion, so we don't have to worry about that. And all we gotta do is just dodge the worm's attacks. And then, you know, just pray for the best. We get a bunch of damage. You guys, I mean, it's not loaded in yet because we're lagging, I guess, but you can see the very top of the screen. We're at like 1.12A. That was like that, you know that uh, HP at the beginning of the video? The amount of HP the dungeon had, those monsters, that's the amount of eight, uh, like damage we're doing. And this is not even my best team. This is just a team that I built in one video. 30 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. And we're already like, we're able to kill the enemies in dungeon basically. So I feel like that's pretty good. That's not bad at all. I mean, total for this Star Devourer, we'll probably get like 10, we'll say A damage. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce that letter. We'll say 10 A. So we're at like 2.96A, almost at 3A. That's not bad, I think. I don't know if my abilities are getting off either. I'm not really sure. We're already past 3A, so that's okay. I don't know what rewards I'll get, but you guys let me know how you are enjoying anime champions. Next video I do, I'll probably bring my team back to life. Maybe we'll do dungeon. Maybe I'll get my first astral. I'll buy it with Robux. Or maybe I'll, you know, I'll do like the season pass. I'm not sure yet. You guys got to let me know. Really do appreciate though your guys' support. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video.